Mr. Johnson, we're now going to continue with the examination by examination of your neck. There are two parts of the examination of the neck with the patient in the seated position. The first is examination of the trachea, the position of the trachea. The second is the anterior and then posterior approach to thyroid evaluation. One wants to ascertain whether or not the trachea is midline. And one can place fingers like this on either side of the trachea and between the trachea and the sternocleidomastoid and to determine whether or not the trachea is midline. The examination of the thyroid consists of an anterior approach as well as a posterior approach. The anterior approach is performed by taking your hand and moving the trachea to one side, thereby mounding the thyroid tissue on the other side. Remember that here's the larynx right here, that the thyroid tissue is in this area. And it's usually very soft and very small and quite difficult to evaluate. By mounding the tissue, you may be able to evaluate the thyroid gland better. So, chin down a little bit, Mr. Johnson. And I'm going to push the trachea to one side gently, thereby condensing this thyroid tissue and palpating the thyroid against the sternocleidomastoid. The same is done on the other side, and it can be done either with these fingers or with your thumb moving toward the sternocleidomastoid. One now moves to behind the patient to evaluate the thyroid known as the posterior approach. Place your hand midline, as I'm demonstrating here, and when I tell you, Mr. Johnson, I'd like you to swallow. What you'd like to do at this time is to swallow, and as the patient swallows, you're going to move in a rolling motion laterally toward the sternocleidomastoid. Okay. Now remember that patients can only swallow one or two times, so you only have two times to be able to do this. So Mr. Johnson, when I tell you, I'd like you to swallow, okay? Mm -hmm. Swallow. And one more time. Okay. Would you mind, Mr. Johnson, just opening your robe a little bit off your shoulders? We're now going to evaluate supraclavicular lymph nodes. And from this position, Good. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Good. Here's the clavicles right here. You're going from this position, place your hands in the supraclavicular fossa, and when I tell you, I'd like you to take a nice big breath. Big breath. In, 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 and out. And this is the technique for evaluating supraclavicular lymph nodes. If lymph nodes were present above the clavicle or at the clavicular level, the inhalation would move the lymph nodes up to become more evident over the clavicle. Of course, one of the important rules in physical examination is always keep your fingernails short because especially on this examination, what you're doing is evaluating the uh, supraclavicular fossa with the pads of your fingers, not jabbing the nails in, which could, could obviously be uncomfortable. Okay, we're now going to proceed with examination of the back. What I'd like you to do, uh, Mr. Johnson, is to turn around this way so that we can evaluate your back.